Number 10, Joseph Adai, Jr. out of Houston, Sharpstown, and Skyler Green, the two deep men. Cerna will kick it off for Oregon State. And we're about 50 minutes behind, but we're underway. High end of Moran, short kick. And on the run, it is gathered at the 12 by Scott Green. Fumbles the ball, recovered, I believe. Let's see. Oregon State football at the 25. Keith Ellison made the recovery from the 50. Anderson, quick pass right across the middle, has it complete to Dwight Wright, breaks off a tackle, 40, 35, and it's going to be muscled out of bounds at the 32, but it's a gain of 18 yards. And tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Bridgestone. Dwight Wright, who just crossed the pass, is uh, the tailback. Marcel Lubb is uh, the slot back. Newton, the tight end, Gillette and Hass are the wide receivers. Up front with the offensive line, Coates, Linehan, Brock, Schooning, and Ninehouse. Turn around the tackle. Defensively, Spears, Roten, Kyle Williams, and Melvin Oliver. The linebackers, Turner, who just made the tackle, he's the veteran. Cameron Vaughn and Quale is a junior college transfer out of Dodge City. And the secondary, Webster and Travis Daniels may be as good a corners as college football has. Laron Landry is a very hard nosed free safety. Jesse Daniels, the strong safety. Third down and they need to take it to the one to hold on to the football short drop quick pass in zone touchdown Oregon State that's George Gillette boy give credit to the offensive line coach Lenahan Brock shooting and nine house and I mean they gave him the protection that he needed and he drilled it for the six points pretty good quarterbacking too. Derek yes. Anderson very impressive in that first drive, making up for all those penalties. Cerna comes in to attempt the extra point. Not real high. He hit the upright, and it bounces back onto the field of play. He misses it. Boy, the wet conditions take their toll on the first extra point of the night. So let's take a timeout. 12.08 to play, opening quarter. Oregon State on top first, six to nothing. And the starting lineups brought to you by Bridgestone. Vincent and Stelts in the backfield. David Jones, the tight end. Bo and Scott Green, the wide receivers. Scott Green, not 100%. He's got a high ankle sprain, which we'll talk more about. Whitworth and Wilkerson, both All American preseason candidates. Will Arnold is the new face, the guy at left guard. Niswanger and Nate Livings on the right side at guard and at tackle. And there he is, Marcus Randall, a five year senior. But the first time that it's been his ball club. Ball is thrown and it is intercepted. Picked off by Pescatelli as the ball was tipped. And the pressure from Joe Lima is what caused it to happen. And hang on. The Tiger defense is going to have to batten the hatches because right now the Beavers trying to blow this thing open early. LSU, here they come with the blitz on the open side of the field, right over the middle. The ball is intercepted, and that's going to be picked off by Laron Landry, the outstanding sophomore free safety out of Ama, Louisiana. And that's a ball that never should have been thrown either. Joseph Adai comes in the ball game, but he's at wide receiver, not a tailback. They roll from the shotgun. Pass thrown, got him complete, and knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. And that is Dwayne Bow who makes the catch gain of 15. And the initial first down of the night for the Tigers. Lima, Seeger, Sir Henry Anderson, and Bill Swancutt, the down for Bill Swancutt, an outstanding player. Many people have him on their all-conference list. Ellison, Bray, and Pollard are the linebackers. And in the secondary, Williams and Browner are at the corners. Musin, the free safety, and the strong safety is uh, Sabi Piscatelli, who had the pickoff earlier on. And in fact, this end of the field has had all the action. It's been virtually nothing at the other end. Here's the boot. Wobbly driving spiral. And it's going to be taken. The ball is fumbled, and he'll recover it at the... 11 yard line Kellen Marshall never should have jumped up and caught the ball anyway though they gain a little room to breathe here out to the 28 first down ball is fumbled on the ground we're waiting for a signal LSU football 
Darcy is the man who made the recovery. The freshman out of Gonzalez. Well, the coach has said he's a playmaker, and he made one right there. Jackson with a 41-yard attempt. Hit this one way, way, way too deep. Almost like you ground your club in golf, and that one is going to be wide to the right and no good, so we'll take a timeout. Tigers get a turnover but cannot do anything with it. They still trail six to nothing. Right back. We're on the backup quarterback is Demarcus Russell from Mobile, Alabama, and he is not ready. And I can tell you that watching him in practice, see, he's going to be a great player. Nick Saban said, I want to get him in early in the season, not necessarily in this football game, but I got to get him some playing time. And now they still got to go to the 35, so it's third down, and let's call it eight. Anderson. Boy gets hit, loses the ball, and I believe it's been recovered by LSU. It has Marcus Spears. First down at about 20. Vincent has five, has 10. He's open. Inside the 35 yard line, Eric Williams finally makes the tackle, and he finally got a little crease. And that's all that Justin Benson needs 31 yards on that running play. Got enough leg on this one, but again, wide right. Well, some of the crowd getting a little anxious. A few scattered <laughs> boos there. He's going to keep this one on the ground. Breaks off the tackle. That's right, and he's open at midfield at the 35 and is now going to be knocked out of bounds all the way down at the 26 yard line. Jesse Daniels makes the stop and it's a 49 yard run. Cerna. He's got the distance and he's good. 135 left until halftime and our new score Oregon State 9 to nothing. Tonight's first half stats brought to you by Rustolium epoxy shield. Well, and when you look at LSU, Ron, it's very, uh, you know, 93 total yards, but 39 passing yards, and uh, that's not good. Jamarcus Russell warming up down on the sideline. I don't know if this means that he's coming in on this opening series. I would, I would be surprised would if he it. did. Now, this is going to be an interesting decision. I think you got to go longer with Randall. We'll see what Nick Saban chooses to do. Well, Askew stands back to kick. It's his fourth punt. I believe Jamarcus Russell is coming into the game. Wow. I'm surprised. Skyler Green, the deep man, he's dropped off to the 35. They're coming after him, and here's the kick, his best of the night. Wobbly spiral will turn over, and here he comes from the 32. Pushed out of bounds at around the 40, so good start position for the LSU Tigers. And Mike, here he comes, the big freshman out of Mobile, Alabama. And listen to this crowd. Ron, I've been watching this young man since he was a freshman in high school. And he has all the talent in the world. He can be as good as he wants to be. Now, the difficult thing for Jimbo Fisher, the offensive coordinator, is you got to nurture him a little bit in play calling also against a very tough defense in Oregon State. Russell deep over the middle. Got his man. Did he hold on? Yes, and it's a dive. Jamarcus Russell from a shotgun. Here comes the blitz right up the middle. They pick it up, lobs the pass, and he's got it. Touchdown, Scott Green. When you put a new quarterback in the game, you're looking for a spark. Nick Saban, Jimbo Fisher, the offensive coordinator, they got the spark from Jamarcus Russell. Quick pass, missed the tackle, and Mike Cass is off and running, and boy, a huge mistake defensively. Did not keep him in front of him, and he allowed him to break the tackle. It's good for 28. Right over the middle, wide open, touchdown, Wheat Brown. Well, you got to give Paul Chris, the offensive coordinator, just a A for his play calling on that drive. Missed tackles, as you said, but 
great play calling by Paul Chris. Cerna to attempt the extra point, and uh, this one moves back, as you can see, uh, following the penalty. And he hit the upright again. Tell you what, he's been perfect. I mean, he nailed him square in the middle both times. 15 to 7. That's that's big, Ron, because it's still an eight-point game. Right up the middle, gets the pass away, and it's incomplete. Corey Webster had the cover. And again, Kyle Williams with uh, some really good pressure inside. Marcus Russell down. Cramp? I tell you, it, it does look like it, yeah. Yep, limping as he tried to get away from the rush. See, and then it, it came across the back of his legs, and this is when he tries to get up, and it's like that's when the cramp really jumped on him, and he tries to stretch out and touch his toes right there. Ron Marcus Randall's going to come back into the football game. Has to come in for a play. He sure does. Randall sets in the pocket, gets his pass off, underthrown, and he caught it. A dive. How many times have you seen it when a ball is underthrown? The defensive backs run past the guy who catches the ball as they're trying to continue their cover. Motion. Roll the pocket to the left. Looking, still looking. He's got a man there. Lumps it in the end zone and he overthrew him. Oh, he had Skyler Green and he tried to put a touch on it and he touched it too far. Here he comes, third down. Gets this one wide open over the middle. It's Bo. Gets by a tackler. Heads for the sideline and he's down inside the 40 yard line. Jamarcus Russell sets to throw. Over the middle. Got his man and it's Bo again. Marcus Russell with a big time throw in a big time spot. Well, you see that sideline. Look at it over. Two point conversion coming. Trying to tie it at 15. 105 left. Russell steps up. He's going to run it. He's got it. We're tied. And the difficulty right here is. Jamarcus, I think, is suffering from cramps again. But they're going to have to take him out of the ball game again. He's going to run it at the five. Touchdown, Marcus Randall. Pass right here. Anderson back in the pocket. Pressure was on. Got it away. Touchdown, Orange. Oregon State, it's Joe Newton. Let's play a second overtime. 19 yards on the play. Well, Ernie Banks is right. Let's play two. Joe Newton, the tight end, has been a big part of this offense all night. The all important extra point. Well, actually, I guess I was taking a little too much for granted there <laughs> after we banged the post on yeah, two. Ernie's, of them. Ernie's waiting until after this extra point. Cerna with the extra point attempt, trying to send us to that second overtime. Ball is down. He missed it. I don't believe it. He missed the third one, and LSU wins in overtime.
on, you feel sorry for Cerna.